Please repeat after Yosef Oberstein as we get our program when you are ready with the Pledge of Allegiance. Teachers, students, study your help. Waiting for a few more. Almost there. Out of respect for those who we're here to honor and those lives that were lost, I ask every student to teach her to respect this moment. Thank you. school shared with me a text she wrote to her kids this morning. Hey guys, good morning sweeties. Just don't forget that today is a sad day and also want to remember all of the servicemen who protect our homes and our streets. Lots of firefighters died today trying to save many New Yorkers, some who were fathers that lived in Riverdale. They died literally running up a building that was on fire, trying to save people who were stuck on the top floors. So while those people were trying to evacuate and head north, they were just going in and up to save lives. If you see any firefighters, police officers, first responders today, please thank them for their service. Have the best and safest day ever. We gather here today to echo the words of that mother who only wishes for herself, for her family, and for her children to be safe, to be protected, to be able to walk the streets, go to school, go to work, and come home. Those are the basic things that everybody deserves to have every day. And those are the things that were attacked September 11, 2001, 18 years ago today, at this time. This week's Torah portion that we read in our synagogues speaks about war. We don't glorify war. We don't like war. We understand that sometimes we need to defend ourselves. And those people that go and put their own lives at risk to protect us, to take care of us, 
to keep us safe. Those are the people that we honor today. Those are the people that we remember today. Please listen to the word of that mother. Not just today, but any day. Stop for a second. It makes a difference when especially a student stops a kid, stops a firefighter, a police officer, a first responder. They're just people who put their uniforms on and go out and are prepared to risk their own safety to keep us all safe. I want to ask our police officers to join me in please lighting a candle as we remember those lives that were lost today. Today, we thought that it would be appropriate to express hakarat hatov, that means gratitude. It's the theme of our year, and hopefully well beyond that. And to single someone out who's devoted so many years of service to this community and to this school, who's always been here, times of celebration and times of sadness. And as we express, appreciation for the things that we have and the people that we're blessed to have. Please join me in expressing our gratitude and appreciation to Mindy Ramos for years of service and partnership with the SAR community. Thank you for keeping our students, staff, and greater community safe. Mindy. started in 2002, soon after the attacks on our nation. Eventually it became the nation's largest annual day of charitable engagement. In the immediate aftermath of the attack, what was so remarkable to me was the way the country came together in this incredible spirit of unity where everybody was helping each other. Tens of millions of people marked the day by doing good deeds in honor of those who perished and those who rose in service but also as a positive path forward. Today we're aboard the Intrepid on the Hudson River in New York City, but we're also expanding this year into Phoenix, LA, and San Francisco. And so all told, we'll pack 1.7 million meals for food challenge people in those four markets, and that'll be done by more than 8,000 volunteers. So it's a really remarkable 
Marco Bolsa, the melting pot of volunteers that are here to demonstrate the importance of togetherness. We're pushing back against those who really attack our way of life. Ultimately, our objective is to take this day of evil, 9-11, and turn it into a day of good and encourage people to remember 9-11 every year by doing good deeds to help others in need. We encourage people all the time uh, to make the Each year, more than 40 million Americans and many others in 150 countries around the world observe September 11th by doing good deeds that help other people. The goal of the 9-11 Day organization, which we just heard a little bit about, is to keep alive the feelings of unity that arose immediately after the 9-11 attacks, to do kindness as they did kindness, and to help each other. The idea behind their program is simple. Ask Americans, young and old, students, teachers, police officers, to do at least one good deed on the anniversary of 9-11. Our good deeds are in tribute to the 9-11 victims, the first responders, the recovery workers, the military, those that protect us, those that were injured, as well as to transform the anniversary of 9-11 from a day of tragedy into a day of doing good. They call their program 9-11 Good Deeds. The goal of the program is for us to help do tens of thousands or hopefully even millions of good deeds in September throughout the United States. Here at SAR, we are going to challenge every single student, teacher, and staff member to take on some good deed that they can do either today in school, that they can do when they go home, that you can do tomorrow, at some point this week to say that for 9-11, I am going to do something. Um, and this will help us be a part of everybody in America and throughout the world that are doing these good deeds for 9-11. Um, I'll start with myself. I am going to bake cookies and bring them over to the fire station. Um, we have a few other students and teachers that are going to take their pledges now. Throughout the next week in the atrium, some of you might have seen it already, there is a huge sign hung up. Um, for the 9-11 challenge to say what good deed it is that you are going to take on. There's a lot of post-its there and pens. Feel free to just take a post-it and stick something up that lets everybody in the school know you can write your name, you don't have to write your name, what it is that you're gonna do um, for the 9-11 good deeds. So we can start with the first one. to call my grandmother more often and see how she's doing. I will let people cut in front of me in line if they're in a hurry, even if I'm there first. I will wave and smile to people on the street. So stop by, write down your pledge, write down the good deed that you would do to remember the victims of 9-11 and to keep alive the feelings of unity and kindness that came from the tragedy of 9-11. Imagine how many good deeds can be done from the 1,300 people that are just in our building alone.
Jesus. Amen.